this video, we're going to prove the following fact. If n is bigger than 1 is a composite number, then sigma of n, that is the sum of all the divisors, must be greater than n plus the square root of n. Okay, proof. If you're into watching mathematical proofs, then I advise you to subscribe to my channel, as this is all we do here. Okay. Now, we know that sigma of n is at least 1 plus n, greater than or equal to 1 plus n. In this case, plus d because there is a common, there is a divisor other than 1 in n. Okay, there might be, there's always 1 in n, and there might be more than just d. And I'll even say where d is in between 1 and n. And d is a divisor. Of n. Okay. So, sigma of n is greater than or equal to 1 plus n plus d, but that's greater than n plus d. It's 1 greater than that. Okay. Now, d is a d is less than or equal to the square root of n, or d is greater than the square root of n. If d is less than the square root of n, so d, d is a divisor. That means d times something equals n. Call it n over d. This is bigger than the square root of n. If d is greater than the square root of n, well, I'll say it just for a completeness, then n over d is less than the square root of n. Either way, we have a divisor. These are both divisors, but we have divisors that are greater than or equal to the square root of n. So, without loss of generality, let's assume that the divisor that's bigger than the square root of n, we call it d. Without loss of generality, assume d is greater than the square root of n. If it isn't, if n over d is greater than, I'll put n over d over there. So we have that sigma of n is greater than n plus d, which is greater than or equal to n plus something bigger than d, namely the square root of n. So this is greater than that. That implies that sigma of n is greater than n plus the square root of n, and that completes this proof. If you're into mathematical proofs like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the like button. See you folks in the next video. Watch and learn.